I'm now joined by AFP Confia's Investment Director, Rafael Castellanos, and its Risk Director, Kelvin Mejia. Rafael, we've heard about the big picture for AFP Confia. Now tell me about your team and your processes. How do you ensure excellent performance? Well, our team is composed of young but very experienced individuals. Uh, our portfolios are um, mainly in fixed income securities, and we've helped develop the Central American region and El Salvador's industries through investing in municipal projects, water utilities, electricity, port and airport expansions, and a variety of different industries. Throughout the years, uh, our team has, has also been pioneer in, in regionalizing our portfolios through investing in, in Costa Rica and Panama, a little over $500 million in the last few years. With that and the diversification of our portfolio, we've, we've been able to achieve number one performance in the, in the industry. Now, Kelvin, you're currently re-engineering your processes to make better use of technology and automation. Tell me more. Well, with this re-engineer, we want to guarantee that our customers are our primary focus. We're using big data analysis and machine learning tools in order to help us be closer to our clients but resolve their problems remotely. For instance, Rafael and their team are using Python, R, and Power BI tools to resolve everyday problems within their investment process. Such tools, I think, will help us raise awareness to the pension system, help our clients to know their returns in their portfolios, and also to highlight and communicate the advantage of voluntary saving for their retirement. And what changes have you seen in customer engagement or savings rates since you've been developing this stronger dialogue with your customers? Well, since 2017 pension reform, engagement is rising. Nowadays, our customer has new benefits such as partial withdrawals, which is a, a huge improvement to our system. So engagement is rising. But being the biggest pension fund in Central America and the Caribbean means that we have 1.5 million customers, more than 50,000 pensioners. So rising engagement is actually a challenge. But Confia is stepping up to that challenge and we're doing it through technology. Nowadays, we're using biometric identifications to our customers. We're using uh, self-service stations and artificial intelligence for WhatsApp. So finally, I think that engagement will still increase in the following years because at the end of these years, we're submitting to our local regulator an application for a new voluntary savings fund. So that will be a new challenge for us and in order to help our customers to have the best pension that, that they deserve. And Rafael, how has the investment team been empowered by the new tools that Kelvin mentioned? Yeah, in order to find solutions through innovations, we've challenged our team to look for everyday processes that can be simplified and done a lot quicker. Being able to manipulate big data has expanded our horizons, and at the same time, we're being able to use uh, data-led approaches to find solutions without having to depend on IT specialists or data scientists. We're being able to do this now in, in a few days, or maybe a day rather than weeks. So getting even closer to the voice of the customer. Rafael, Kelvin, thank you both so much. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. If you haven't heard the big picture for AFP Confia, click to watch the first half of this interview now. Learn more at confia.com.sv and please subscribe for the latest international business insights from worldfinance.com.